I'm Dave Sampson, and thanks for tuning in to Thrive TV on this casual Friday. CISA issued an advisory this week regarding a zero-day vulnerability in Ivante's Pulse Secure product that has been exploiting dating back to June of last year. The vulnerabilities have been used to access defense, government, and financial organizations internationally. The United States is pointing the finger at China as the primary sponsor of the associated threat actors. Fixes are available for this exploit and all the important information is linked in the advisory from CISA below. Given the very active state-based threat landscape, this week the Biden administration announced a 100-day plan to address cyber risks in the US power grid. The objective of the plan is to provide cyber visibility, detection and response capabilities for industrial control systems at electric utilities. If not properly secured, these industrial control platforms remain just as vulnerable to threats as systems more common to general business operations. Vehicle safety inspections in eight states, including the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, came to a halt on March 30th, following what has been billed as a malware attack on the App Plus Technologies platform utilized to perform the inspections. Although the platform has been restored here in Massachusetts, restoration efforts are still in progress elsewhere. Details about the outage have not been revealed and it remains unknown if any PII was accessed or stolen as the result of the attack. This breach is a strong example of the need for a comprehensive third-party vendor risk management program. An outage this significant with a prolonged restoration time is far from the norm by today's standards. Third-party vendor risk programs need to evaluate variables, including the specific type of data exchanged, how that data is protected, and the vendor's incident response management approach and disaster recovery plans. This is currently a primary topic of conversation with Thrive customers and remains a key component of maintaining a comprehensive security program. Thanks for joining us this week. For more information on today's stories, please see the links below. For Thrive TV, I'm Dave Sampson. Have a great weekend. And until next time, who's accessing your data?